This is an Ellis Mowers and More small engine vlog. Stay connected on Instagram and Facebook at Ellis Mowers and More. Comments or questions? Leave them below or email me, ellis at ellismowers.com. And as always, like and subscribe for more small engine content. On today's vlog, we're basically just going to be catching up with things that are going on around here. There's been a lot, especially in the past week or so. Um, and things that you may be seeing coming up on the channel here very soon. Uh, when is this? This is like middle of June when I'm filming this. And we had a ton of free finds coming up here uh, this past week. I want to show you a couple of them because they've already turned around and sold them. Uh, actually, both of them are right here in this photo. And we've got... I got these for free from somebody that I work with. Uh, a weed eater push mower and then a Toro self propel. Uh, the weed eater push mower ran, it just needed a tune up like oil change blade sharpen. The Toro needed some carb work. And uh, I turned those around in a matter of a couple of days and they're gone. I'll show you the reason why I want to show you those is I did get a trade for the Toro. I wanted to show you those trades here as well. Um, as well as other recent items that have sold. And I'll show you the uh, trades for that as well. So we've sold the John Deere E100 that y'all probably saw on the channel here recently. And we got a trade for that. I'll show you that as well. And uh, some few, a few free items. So let's go ahead. We're going to get started with these uh, updates. I do want to mention that y'all have seen some uh, videos with product reviews and stuff on the channel. I have started doing some affiliate marketing um, and that's just part of the game. Some of the stuff is kind of related to outdoor and some of it kind of isn't. I just kind of take life as it comes. I dump those videos on Friday night. They never substitute for my Wednesday and Sunday videos, so don't think that. Um, but there's links to all those products and stuff, and I have an Amazon storefront, Ellis Mowers and more, where all those products are housed too. Wanted to mention that, that you see it on the channel. Um, that affiliate marketing, I'll just say that it is worth my time and effort to do. So, um, got that going as well. Uh, I'm going pretty well. A lot of partners there. Anyways, I'll stop rambling. I'll show you all the stuff going on around here. It's quite a bit right now. Um, don't have a lot of customer items in, which is good because I've been able to turn out a few items of my own. So let's give it a look. So I've been cranking it out the past few days. I've done an engine swap on that Z35, Z335E John Deere. That should be my last video that y'all saw here on the channel. That's out, cut with it yesterday. Neighbor is very happy and she's got her mower back, so that's awesome. Um, Cub Cadet, honestly guys, it's just one of them time things. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is throwing a Briggs on this thing because this thing is cracked pretty bad. I may try and salvage it if there's, this mower is just too nice to put an engine with a cracked block on. So I th I've got that Briggs off of the off of the John Deere out there, and I think what I'm going to do is just pop that Briggs on here, and it's a 19 and a half, and it just call it a day, honestly, because um, I need to get this mower out. This mower is good, otherwise it's fixed. I've cut grass with it once this year too, so um, got the bagger with it also. It's just a matter of me being able to rip that 19 and a half off, slap it on here, and just get it gone. So that's on the to-do list very soon i hate that i haven't gotten this out yet but i've got to got to get it out a couple of trades for the toro this is a remington corded pole saw this will be staying here at the house i can definitely use that um, this is a i believe it's a four cycle troy built edger attachment but it's got the all the quick attach uh, mechanisms there so that's good that's partial trade for that Toro that I showed you. Um, customer item here is a uh, Lincoln Electric Ranger 8 with a Kohler V-Twin on it, Kohler Command. Looks like it's a 
late 90s model but only has eight hours on it hardly ever been used the guy did say he swapped the carburetor out not getting any pull fuel pulse through the fuel pump he did say when it did run it would run for a little bit and then choke itself out a lot of times these diaphragms go bad in these fuel pumps and so i think that the diaphragm is just hardened because of all of the rust and stuff here i had to free this up you'll see a video on that coming up as well so we've got also a the 455 john deere is here um mostly because i think the guy said that the deck was automatically lowering on it one thing i did notice when he got here and one thing that i did notice whenever my dad had this is that if you flip this up right here for the deck height adjust it will eventually and it was flipped up when he brought it here so i'm wondering if he just if it just worked its way down because the deck height would go down it's got to have that hydraulic pressure to stay up even when it's running, it's still going to try and creep down a little bit. I guess because the pump's not running at the time. So I just told him to give it a shot. Come get it. Uh, I need it going because this thing is massive. But all of these, man, so all this has been acquired recently. These are free items that I got in addition to the push mowers from another person. I got these from a different person. I'll show you other free items back here in the back too. L110 John Deere, I put a battery and gas in it. It actually starts and runs. I've noticed that the belt is off the transmission pulley. He did mention that the belt was smoking the last time he tried to use it. Must not have uh, put it back on the transmission pulley. I've got a belt on the way. Hopefully we'll be cleaning this up and getting it out because it's fairly good shape otherwise. A little bit of paint peel, which we'll, uh, we'll address a little bit of that. Um, seats cracked some too, but that's typical of all these. Um, I've got a seat that may be a little bit better back there. We'll see. This RX-75, this is, it just reminds me, it's one of the very first mowers that I ever flipped, uh, that I had. And, ended up, you know, turning out really nice. This one right here is not nice at all. I don't even have the deck for it. I may see if I can get this engine to turn over and fire. If so, I'll list it and sell it <clears throat> for the engine. MTD Gold Series is complete here. Um, just been sitting up a really long time. And I this will be far down the line. Uh, it's the same week I got that John Deere E100. I got this John Deere E140. Actually the same day, I think. Brought this home. You can see it's a big puddle of oil under it. I believe that it was leaking from the got 400 and some hours on it too which is crazy leaking from somewhere over here and i believe it's the uh the dipstick or the uh oil drain i believe the guy ran it out of oil and blew it up so we got another v-twin swap coming up on the channel most likely this mower will turn out fairly nice it's still in good condition otherwise a couple of small cracks here and there a little bit of wear and tear but actually in my opinion a little bit above average for uh 400 and 66 hours so that's good uh the murray i've brought up here might i hate to get rid of it with the garden tractor tires on it but there are no parts i can use off of that it's got an opposed twin briggs i've got plenty of engines here so it's kind of like eh, do i pull the engine deal with the struggles of an opposed twin if they overheat or blow ignition coils and stuff and then the LA-115, which I took the old, the bad transmission out of, is just hanging out right here. Uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do with this. I think I'm going to take the engine off of this and put it in the Cub Cadet. But I'm... Because it... I'll keep it around because it's got good parts, especially the front end and stuff. So I'll be glad to take that. In terms of back here, nothing really has changed. In terms of back in the tent, nothing really has changed. Um, I have a customer mower in here my father-in-law's to get going this push mower was actually free part of that lot that i got with the riders i got it running it's just sitting here uh ready for sale probably at like a 50 60 dollar mower um and nothing else has changed back there since y'all have last seen me the all these ryobi attachments uh like these blower attachments and stuff i got for free as well as part of that lot um They'll be nice if I need to put something on because they are the 
the quick link stuff I think I'm eventually just going to clean out a bunch of my two cycle stuff here and just be done with it uh, two cycles are almost not worth my time although they're good for hypo carbs if I uh, do something with them uh, like I said everything else in the backyard pretty much hasn't changed except for a few of the free push mowers and stuff that I've gotten here recently and I'll show you these real quick while we're back here uh, the mowers under the tent haven't changed any uh, either so uh, these are free I believe this one's blown up this one I think it's just old this one's blown up this one's got a bad deck obviously so we've got some things going on there um, trying to piece together some push mowers got a few push mowers in since uh, I haven't had a lot but I do need to I do really need to clean out these two frames came with the free riders that I showed y'all a second ago got a Honda GCV 160 and a TB 110 with a 550 EX they might end up being good engines I may just pull the frame pull them off the frames that way they're just ready to go um, if I need them this is what I traded I traded this plus a decent sum of money for the E100 John Deere so I'm free and clear on these because I easily doubled my money on the John Deere plus got these on trade the guy used these up until I guess this season um, thing is with this LTX 1040 the engine is loose on it and he says it's leaking a bunch of oil probably rightfully so and uh what else has we got going on here the deck on the left side the bracket is bad We've got loud cars going through all the time now apparently but i got this push mower which runs but has a bad deck this push mower he said it's been sitting up for a while it's got the power mower engine on it i feel like this is just going to need like a carb clean to get going so we might just pull that out and see what we can do um, other trades that I got for the Toro are this Honda HRX, I think it's a 217, ain't it? Yeah. He just didn't like the mower because it was heavy. It's got a little bit of damage on the composite deck, but nothing to the degree that it's ridiculous. And then this three horsepower edger. So we got a few good items here. Um, real, like I said, I really, really need to clean out around here. Um, and get a little bit more time on my hands. Um, this Honda push mower is not mine. It's actually a customer's. It's ready to go. Uh, it needed the pull rope fixed on it as well as, he said it had a very small gas leak, so I changed the fuel line out and tightened up the bowl nut, and we're just going to see if it uh, stands the test of time. He said it would actually go empty over the course of a few days. So uh, whatever it is, it's really, really tiny, and um, he could use it back, I guess. So we'll finish this video up next. I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about currently. Uh, yeah. So we'll finish everything up next. Well, here's some more freebies, not just this. This is in addition to what's on the trailer. Uh, these, I'm like raking it in over the past week here with freebies and trades and all this other stuff it's kind of nice tv 240 troy built self propel got a m210 craftsman here so that one's not that old and then i got a self propel another self propel troy built this is a um, quantum briggs so and tiller missing a wheel so uh more things woo uh but golly i don't even know how much that means i've got now i don't know but we'll wrap this video up next so that's pretty much everything in a nutshell going on around here relatively quick update uh like i said a lot going on um and i feel Sometimes you, I go back and look at previous videos and I used to turn around things like nobody's business. I feel like I'm not getting, I'm not at that point like I was. I don't know if I'm starting to get worn down or something along those lines. Uh, if y'all don't 
know what I do. This is not my full-time deal. I got a full-time job. I come home and just wrench in the afternoons and the evenings whenever time allows. Um, benefits me because I almost kind of work like mixed mowers where he kind of works an overnight deal. And I work kind of early morning, 3.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. This has been picking up to the point where I almost want to take this full-time. If y'all have done that before, if you don't want to leave advice in the comments section, feel free to DM me on Instagram or message me on Facebook at Ellis Mowers and more. I'm always looking for advice and I don't want to jump into the deep end without knowing exactly what I'm going to be doing in terms of like running a business and things like that. I've gotten a lot of advice and counsel from church members and other folks that have done going out on their own and getting a lot of encouragement to do that, um, which is really good. Uh, and it's a lot of the reason is because of y'all as well, um, getting the word out for me, number one, and number two, just watching the videos. When y'all watch the video, those ads that play, I get a, you know, little bit of revenue from that, and that adds up, and these product reviews, they add up a little bit too with affiliate marketing and whatnot, and so pretty soon you have all these revenue streams that come in that can culminate into something that you can do full time. That's the process that I'm in right now, to be honest with y'all, um, and transparent. Uh, so we might be seeing some things happen here in the coming months. It just is a matter of how comfortable am I in taking the leap and taking the dive. I'm very thankful I have my wife here. She's a second income. I just don't want to have to rely on her income um, to do something that I classified as a hobby um, if it doesn't pan out. Um, want to be successful at this. So, uh, any advice is really appreciated. I uh, just wanted to put that out there uh, because I know some of y'all went that route, starting this on the side and going full time. But anyways, that's the update here. I really do appreciate y'all watching. As always, um, we have more projects out here than I have ever had. So I want to get through some especially right now where I don't really have a lot of customer items in or I'm waiting on parts for them. So we've got, like I said, quite a few things going on here. And I wanted to give you all an update because you all love watching these update videos. I like to show you all what's going on every few months or so. Every I try to do one every two to three, and I was due for one. So thank you all again. Thanks for the support, and I'll catch you all on the next video as we work on... All of this other stuff out here. So y'all have a good one and take care.